Morning guys, it's 7.53. I'm over here at school, so I'm gonna go in and get some stuff done, and I'll talk to you in a couple hours. All right, what up guys? It is 3.07. Uh, I've been home for about an hour. All new classes but ecology today went really well. It's a little bit longer of a morning. I have periods one, two, and three before lunch. I used to only have two and three, um, but one is really good, two is phenomenal, and three looks like it's gonna be okay. Fourth lunch is fine. I've got an hour free after lunch today. I just stayed, but I could go out to lunch or whatever. Uh, if I take the lunch off too, I've got an hour and a half, so that's awesome, or an hour and five minutes, technically. But uh, that's nice, so everything went well. And Kenan uh, kind of reworked his schedule, and now he gets 10th period off too, so that's awesome. We can both leave at 2.05, which is good news. Oh, this is real good. Just Put your trash can there in the middle of the road, the Ford behind me, that you know how good Fords are at handling back there. Almost hits it. Nah, obviously it's not somebody putting it there. It's pretty windy, so we got crap blowing every everywhere. But right now, I am headed to uh, get this car e-checked, which hopefully goes well. I don't have a check engine light on, so uh, I'll let you know how it does. I just called the office to see what paperwork they need, and apparently all they need is a title to the car, which I have. Um, so that is good. Uh, the thing they sent me in the mail, I figured they would need that. It's at my dad's place right now, since I gave him the mail, and I didn't think to take that out. Um, so they didn't say I needed that, just the title, which is in the back seat. Uh, the vital signs are looking good. Looks like I am second in line. And I've got my title. And, uh, yep, I guess I'm waiting on the Kia. Result, pass. Friggin' rights, I was kinda worried about that actually, because the light comes on for the secondary air sometimes, which is all emissions based, but I reset it. They put their OBD2 scanner on it and saw that the light had been reset in the past, all they could tell was it was in the past couple days, and they asked, has the car been serviced recently? And of course, without lying, I said, yes, it has, actually quite a bit. And they said, all right, we're gonna have to dyno it. So they put it on a dyno, and take it to 25 miles an hour or so for a few minutes. Um, and uh, put the things in the exhaust tips, everything checked out fine. Then I go out and I start it to drive away. I get to the parking lot, I look down, I have a traction light on, an ABS light, and a brake light. And I'm like, oh great, thanks guys, what the hell did you do? Last time I had to have those lights shut off, it cost $1,600 for a sensor and a DSC pre-charge pump. And I went back in and I'm like, hey, what the hell? And they said, oh, that's normal, just drive it. So I'm like, yeah, okay, right, because the BMW is going to be smart enough to turn the lights off. I get out of the parking lot, lights are off. So it makes sense. The car kind of freaks out when they see its back wheels going 25. Nothing's happening to the front wheel speed sensors. Makes sense that it would freak out, but I'm glad it reset. So now I won't have to do that again for two years. That's good news. And uh, passed, so I can renew the tags on this in March. So there's one less thing I have to do. Anyways, now I am headed downtown to go to the bank. I need to deposit some monies. I still have stuff in First Merit. Here's why. Uh, I would like to move everything over to Chase. I have one Chase savings and one Chase checking. And I would do that if my PayPal didn't need the First Merit account. I set my PayPal up to the First Merit checking account months ago, and to change it, it wants, um, uh, it wants the bank account number of my checking account, which I don't have because I don't have my checks yet. So long story short, I'm waiting for my Chase checks, which I don't know what's taking them so long. I already got the debit card. So Chase checks, then I'll enroll my Chase account with PayPal, and then I can close out the First Merit accounts. But until then, I have to keep depositing money for all the crap I'm buying on PayPal, or eBay using PayPal Pay. All right, I uh, just deposited just 50 bucks into my First Merit checking account. And now I'm gonna run over to Chase, and uh, wow, I just did what my mom did when I came over here like a year ago. I pulled into the McDonald's parking lot. Damn it. That's what I get for being a big shot. If you heard the song, that's a pun. 
and uh, not looking where I'm going. Anyways, I'm gonna go over there and see if I even ordered checks. I, I Maybe I thought it was assumed. I mean, with First Merit, when you open a checking account, they send you a box of checks, so. I don't have any account work on me, I just have my ID. They should be able to look me up from that. By the way, it is 57 degrees. 57 degrees on January 23rd. Just ridiculous. Cool beans, I was in there like 20 minutes. I ordered some checks and they gave me my routing numbers and account numbers for both accounts. So that is cool, got everything I needed there. Today has been like a catch-up day of things I've been meaning to do for a week or in, in the e-check e case a month. So that's good, making progress today. Look at that massive pile of snow over there next to the parking deck. Holy crap. Oh, got a beauty. Well, there's more progress for today. I just got a video made taking a lot of requests that I've seen about the iPad 3. For some reason it's really uh, an interesting topic right now. I, I think it's kind of early. It feels like just weeks ago that I made the iPad 2 rumor roundup videos, but I guess now it's time for the iPad 3. So I got a nine minute video going up talking about what we're going to see there. You can see being 57 degrees and raining all day, we've lost all but little traces of our big snow of four inches that we had. And uh, there's a lot of water back there. But uh, it's 5.04 and I'm not feeling tired yet. So surprisingly. So I feel like I need to go out and keep doing shit that I've been meaning to get done. So I'm going to go get a haircut. One, two. Uh, I left my Oakley's in my dad's car when we went to the Detroit show last Sunday. So I'm going to meet him downtown. He's going to be there anyways. He's meeting some uh, co-workers for dinner. I need power. So I'm going to grab my glasses back and get a haircut. Talk to you in a bit. All right. I got the glasses dropped off as mail. I've got the iPhone sitting here charging because it's about dead. I'm gonna run in and get a haircut now and I'll talk to you in 10 minutes. Well that took forever. I got in there. There's a woman with um, four kids and all of them were getting haircuts. And you can probably barely see me but it looks better and it feels better and it will be easier to take care of. So that's good news. Now I'm gonna head home get something to eat. I'm very hungry and I'll talk to you later. Uh, gotta love the 80s. 10.06. I am letting some vlogs buffer. I'm about to upload and I'm watching Intervention, <laughs> which is uh, pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna get this together. It's a little on the longer side. Get this up, finish my Intervention, and I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night, guys.